Last week, we told you all about uh, uh, connectors, like why they are important, what is the benefit, why, why would you care? TLDR, they help you find all info you've got in your workplace. They make it easier for you to find it. And then soon, you will even be able to use AI on all of it, right? So to get really relevant answers relevant to your work based on basically everything you all know in your work. And the way to do it is to use a connector, right? To import all of the content that you've got in the workplace into Microsoft 365, right? So what is a connector? Well, a connector consists of few, um, a few blocks, right? Like it has a connector code, right? So basically like that is kind of the engine, the logic that actually makes it work. Then it's got, of course, like the external source, the, the source from which you want to import the content. Then it's got an Entra app, right, which kind of registers it on the Microsoft Cloud, right? So that is that that is how it gets access to Microsoft 365, which is the last part. It connects to Microsoft Graph APIs to create a connection, deploy schema, and import the content, right? So that these are kind of the building blocks that, that we talked about the last time of a connector. It has a connection with like things like name, description, schema that kind of defines the shape of the data you ingest. And then actually the content itself that you bring over from the external system to Microsoft 365. So the next, so in the next hour and a half, you will see live how do we set everything up. The only problem is that we don't have an hour and a half. We've got 13 minutes, so I better get moving. All right. So first things first, we we get back here. What is it that we need? We need an Entra app, right? And um, one, one, one more thing. We're going to illustrate all of that based on a sample that is already available to you, which will allow you to ingest some of my blog posts into your N365 um, um, tenant so that you can easily search through the things that I wrote. And it's not really that exciting, but it's just an easy thing for you to test. You don't need resources in Azure and anything like that to start with. You can definitely get to that eventually. But for starter to, to, to have that really easy F5 experience, you can use the example that, that you will see in the next minute or two, right? So again, the first thing that we need is to create an Entra app. Well, typically the way you would go about it is you would do what? Somebody would give you a doc and then you would get step by step clicking you know, in the Azure portal creating the app. That's boring. How about we do another thing? I've got here a PowerShell script that we do exactly the same thing for me. So what is it that we need to do? We need an Entra app. That app needs to have Graph API access with two scopes, right? It needs to be able to create external connections and it needs to be able to write external items. So these are the two roles you see here and they are super encrypted in GUIDs, but these are actually the GUID or the IDs of these scopes, right? To make it, uh, easier for me to build uh, in the script and not have to resolve them to their names, right? So we're going to create the Entra app with this name. We're going to grant it the uh, scopes. We're going to grant the admin con consent, which we need. Then we're going to, cre to create a secret. Again, like I'm running this on the local box, so it's perfectly fine. Typically in a cloud, maybe you would use managed identity or some other way to access that. In this case, to keep it really easy, I'm going to create a secret and I'm going to store it in my .NET app so that I can easily access the values without having to store them anywhere in plain text. So it's kind of safe. All right, let me run this script. Three to one. And with that, I am in PowerShell, set a PS1. So now I'm going to use the Microsoft Graph PowerShell SDK to create an Entra app with all the different things that I need in order to be able to build or to, for the connector engine that I've got, to create a connection and then import the content. Okay, we are ready. And we created an app with this ID. Let's double check that it's actually there because maybe the values are fake. Who would have thought? All right, I am in the Azure portal. Let, let me go to Entra ID. In here, let me find application registrations. Here, let me browse for the good that I just created from the app. There you go, there is the app that we created. We created it just now, there you go. The date does not lie. And then in here, we can see what? We needed two things. We needed API access. So API permissions here, we've got, again, these two scopes that we need, right? So there's the external connection read, right? Because we need, we want to create a connection and then external item read, right? Because we're going to import the content to Microsoft 365. So one, two, 
we needed a secret. So there you go, the secret that we've got, one geo, and then it's here. Oh my God, now you can copy it and you can do things with it. Be my guest. Perfectly fine. So we've got that in place. What is the next step? If we, we go to README, there's, there's a really cool thing about that. Like we have all instructions here. So I don't need to keep in mind any of that. All right, let me change the directory to that and then build the, a project. Now, why do I need to do that? Well, the reason I need to do that is because here at the end of the script, I added these steps. I, I stored the values in project, but now it's not a part of my code. So in other words, I need to rebuild it so that there's association between project, which is here. So here in CS proj, when, when you do that, when you run the .NET user secrets in it, well, what it does is here, it will add a GUID that associates the project, the app, with internal store that it's got where the values are actually stored. So we need that reference in the binary that we will use to run this. So with that, let me do that and let me do .NET build. And I, I will rebuild the project and I will, oh, sorry, I was supposed to be doing that. I, will, I need to go, go oh, back. I got ahead of myself there. I need to first do .NET build and then change the directory. Now, I put all the steps here, but it would be actually good if I actually follow them, right? So here, .NET build first, then change directory. There you go. All right, so project rebuild, no errors, everything works. Let's get back to our directory, which was bin debug net seven. All right, the first thing that we will do is we will create external um, a connection where we will be then, uh, which we will then use to import the content. Like what is what does actually the connection do, right? So what are a part of it? If we go here to our code, we have a representation of what that exactly is. Connection configuration is here. So we will have ID, name, description. These things are really important, not, 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 not now immediately, but eventually uh, Copilot will, will use them to find out which data source invoke when. So you really want to ensure that these are meaningful uh, strings as opposed to rubbish that you would put because nobody will see it anyway. Well, AI will. So you definitely want to uh, ensure about these things. Now we have some other things that, that aren't important now. And then the final things that we've got here is the idea to, or the ability to have a custom adaptive card so that we can uh, see the results in search. All right, so we've got that. We've got that in place. Let's create the connection. So we will do connector. Uh, create dash connection. And this will do two things. It will create a connection and then it will create a schema. Three, two, one. Let me see if that is doing something already. It's creating connection. That shouldn't take long. There it goes. Connection is created. Schema will be creating. Creating schema will take a minute or two. So if we hear refresh, we, we are now in the Microsoft 365 admin center under home search and intelligence uh, data sources where we can see all, all connections that we, we create. Here we are. So here in our code, we've got external connection with ID, um, my name blog.net. There you go, my name blog.net. Here we are. So this is in progress. As I say, this is going to take a minute or two. If we had an hour and a half, I would gladly wait together with you they tell a joke or two which aren't that great. We don't have time for that. So with that, let's move on. Typically, you know, going the kitchen way show, uh, kitchen show way, there's another one, right? So this one is blue just for me so that I know which one is which. This one is already done. And here what I've done is I changed the ID to two so that we don't need to wait. So I already have a, 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 um, um, a connection with the same name, .NET2, which is ready. So in this place, what is done, it's got a connection and I created a, um, a schema. So with that, the next step is what? Actually import the content. And in this example, what I will do is here I've got a bunch of uh, articles that I wrote in Markdown, right? So, I, so the connector that I have built is going to do what? If I go to content service, right, it's going to, so uh, here's the shape of the post and basically it will do a few things. So if I go all the way down, Right, it's going to extract the content from my source, which in this case are the markdown files that I've got on my disk. I'm going to change their shape so that they match the schema that I've got. 
And let, let's have a quick look at that too, because we skipped at the last part in time, right? So in schema, I've got the different type of stuff that I want to keep track of when I import the content from its source to Microsoft 365. I want to have title. I want to have uh, um, 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 excerpt. I want to have the image URL, URL to the original article, because if it comes up in search and somebody clicks, I want them to get back to that original item. I want to have its date, I want to have some tags, and that will be it. So, so these are the uh, different things that I want to keep track of for all the content that I will, will import, right? So in here, we change the shape from the original shape that we've got in our external source to the shape that we want to keep track in Microsoft 365. And then the final step is load, which is actually uploading the external items to Microsoft 365 using the Microsoft Graph. Let me do that. Let me, I don't think I need to rebuild. I think I'm good. So with that, let me just go directly to bin debug that and then say connector load content. And what we will do now is we'll see it parse all the items, uploading them to my 365 one by one, one by one. And this is actually pretty fast, right? Because like everything is done already. So it's just like single call to Microsoft Graph. As it's uploading, we can see it here, right? So here we've got graph service, client, external, connections, item, put, right? And basically the item that we upload here is the external um, item that we upload to Microsoft 365. All right, with that thing in place, last thing that we've got left is actually be able to see this stuff because we've imported that, but then like it will be nice for it to come back in search and be available to AI, right? So in here, let's click this link. So with that, the content will be now available in all search results that we've got, right? So we don't need to create a vertical. We can just basically find it in all results that we've got. And here in search, so we are now in Microsoft 365. Let's do search. Let's do search for something that I wrote. Let's say um, how to test API. And there you go. So this is one item that is this external item that we've ingested. You can see here is evidence. It's coming from my blog. It is my adaptive card that I build with an image, title, URL, modified date. And if I click on this, you will be taken to my blog. There you go, right? So that is how you can end-to-end -end run a connector that creates a connection, provision, schema, and imports the content from whatever data source you want so that it's available in Microsoft 365 for you to be able to easily find stuff, discover stuff, but also make it available to um, AI. So with that, we are on time. Thanks again for your time. If there are any questions that are, are unanswered, we can take them in the chat or you can always ping me afterwards. And again, all of this is available to you so you can run it by yourself. And I would really encourage you to because it's super, super cool. Thank you.